Jared Poland, Froknowsphoto.com, and Canon just unleashed an unbelievably high ISO video camera on the world. Now, how high does it go? It goes to four. Four million ISO. That is absolutely insane. What are they calling this camera and how much does it cost? Well, they're calling it the ME20F-SH. Now, anything with a name like that means that it's not meant for the consumer market. And another way you know it's not meant for the consumer market is its price tag. It's priced at $30,000. So yes, it's very expensive, but who's it for? How does it work? And what do I think about it? So this is why it can get to such high ISOs because it only has a 2.26 megapixel sensor. But the reason that it can go to 4 million ISO is because the pixels on that sensor are much larger. Whatever 19 microns is, is how large each pixel is. They say that's seven and a half times larger than the pixels on a regular camera. Now this is just for video and it's gonna do full color at 4 million ISO, which is absolutely insane. It takes an EF mount, so you can lock the lenses on there. Um, they're saying that it's for, say, I mean, if you're a spy, right? If you're in the army or something like that, or in the Navy, you may want something like this that's capable of asininely high ISO ranges so that you can capture great video, or okay video I'm assuming. I'm assuming it's pretty good because it's 1080 up to 60 frames a second that you can get which is pretty darn good. They're saying that I would think that it's great for surveillance. It's going to be a nature type thing so that you can capture uh, nature in darkness and still get nice color. I would think that it's for uh, I don't know, other industrial uses that I can't think of right now off the top of my head. So what you can't do is record internally. You're only able to ex re record externally, which means you're going to need some kind of external recorder, something like an Atomos or something along the lines like that. It's only two and a half pounds, which is unbelievable for something like that. It has infrared plus regular uh, color and ND filters built in, and you can move them in and out so that you can get rid of that and, and do what you need right there. What other things do we have to say? Really, so he, here, here's my take on this. No, we're not gonna spend $30,000 as regular people to get a camera that shoots this. Oh, they said reality TV they think it would be used for. I don't know what reality show is gonna need this. The Bachelor maybe, I don't know. But this is the technology that they work on in industrial things that are $30,000 that someday find their ways into, a, in, into the consumer and pro end market for cameras. That's just what this technology does. So they do their research and development, they put it into something like this, they get industries to pay a ton of money for it because the research that it funded to get, then can be found in cameras that you and I would buy. So this thing is pretty insane, ME20F-SH, 4 million ISO. What do you think about it? Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.